Recruiters drive me insane. Do you know how many times I hear that from job seekers? Oh, recruiters are driving me insane. Let's talk about recruiters driving me insane, part one. Here is one of the biggest complaints that I hear from job seekers, one of them, about recruiters. And usually it goes with a statement something like, Recruiters are constantly contacting me for jobs that are below a level that I would accept. And they're upset. Job seekers are feeling like, did you not look at my resume? Did you not look at my profile? I, I wouldn't accept that. I am a manager and you're contacting me about an employee level position, individual contributor. I'm not interested. Why are you contacting me? And um, it can get job seekers really upset. Okay, job seekers, I get it. I totally understand when you get frustrated by this. However, I want to do this by the flip side, which is the second biggest thing that I hear from job seekers all the time is I keep getting told I am overqualified. I would take that job if a recruiter would contact me, but I am overqualified is the message I keep getting back from recruiters and I'm tired of them telling me that. So what is this fine line and how do we do this? Well, here's my take on it. You want job, you want recruiters to be contacting you more rather than less. Are they sometimes going to be calling you and emailing you about jobs that are less than what you want? You bet, you bet. But it's a great opportunity for you to start forming a relationship or a bond. Now, generally, recruiters are aligned with certain clients if they're external or with a certain company, right, if they're internal. And if they have one position that matches you but may not be the right level, what's to say that tomorrow they don't get a position that's a higher level that matches you and matches your career goals better and your salary expectations better? Wouldn't you rather already start having a relationship with that person and already be on their radar so you can see as many jobs and as many career advancement avenues as possible? I know it can be tiresome for you. It's the same way it's tiresome for recruiters when they get people, you know, applying for a PhD position that have a bachelor's degree. I mean, it works both ways, but better that you're on their radar earlier. I also, I am not one of those people that likes it when recruiters make choices for job seekers. Um, I would much rather reach out to a job seeker and have them tell me, I'm not interested, then pass up somebody who may be looking for a job because I think they're not going to be interested. Well, you know what? It's not my job. It's not my career and it's not my choice what job that person decides they're interested in. That power needs to belong to the job seeker. We've gotten so out of whack where, you know, employers are, are valued more than job seekers in some ways. And I think that it needs to go back to a level set. Employers have a right to set the job the way that they want to set it, right? With the salary that they want to set it based on their budget, how they're approaching the market, whatever. But job seekers have a right to say, I'm willing to take a job at that salary or no, I'm not. And I'm willing to do this or no, I'm not. It needs to be more of a level setting. And the more that recruiters are making choices for job seekers, the more that puts you in danger. So all that being said, what do you do as a job seeker when it gets to the point where somebody reaches out to you for a position that you're not interested in and that's less than you want? This is the time where you give them your parameters. Now, most recruiters are at this point in time working in some type of applicant tracking system where they're keeping track of all of the different candidates they've talked with and worked with. And there's fields in there where they can list other things like um, I'm only interested in the following cities or I'm not interested in relocation. I'm only interested in remote work. I'm looking for a salary that's at least this. I'm looking for a role that has management. I'm looking for a role that I only want to be a technical fellow and I don't want to be in a management position. You have parameters that you always don't get a chance to tell the companies and recruiters on your resume, but you can when you're at this point in the process and they've already reached out to you. So it's a great opportunity to then give them more data. It's also, there's no recruiter that's working on one job. 
right? Recruiters are usually have 10, 15, 20, 50 jobs for those that are working direct labor roles that they are constantly trying to fill. And so there's a good chance if you talk with them about the role, they may say, hey, I have these other positions. Are you interested in one of these? Now, if you want to go even one step further of how to make this opportunity even better for you as a job seeker, when a recruiter reaches out to you and says, hey, I'm interested, or are you interested in this role? Before you reply, no, or before you reply, that role is lower than me. If it is a recruiter that works for a company, stop and take the time to go out and look at all of the rest of their job postings and see if there's any other jobs out there that you're interested in. If there is a job that you're interested in, you just got a great opening to talk with somebody. Instead of saying, I'm not interested in this job, but say, I would love to have a couple moments of your time to speak with you about this role. And at at that point, when you have that recruiter on the phone or on a Zoom or a Teams interview, talk with them and say, well, I think, you know, that this role may not quite be right because of this, 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 but I did see this other role. Is it possible we can talk further about this? Because I think this one is a really good match for me. Now, even if the recruiter is not working that particular role in a company, chances are they know who is. And either way, they have an inside track. And in most applicant tracking systems, you can move a candidate from one position to another and you can forward them to that other requisition and put them in a way or a mode that has the other recruiter looking at them. A lot of times, if you have a great conversation with that recruiter, they will even send a personalized message to that other recruiter saying, hey, I had an opportunity. I spoke with this person. Well, it wasn't a match for this role I was recruiting for had really great competencies in this, this, and this, and they're interested in the role you're trying to fill. So I know, I know it can be frustrating when recruiters reach out to you for roles that are below you, but think of it this way. It could be the best opportunity you've had in the last month in order to make a great connection for the job that you do want. All right, job seekers, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell. If you want to know every time we release a new video, you're welcome to follow me and the team connect with us on LinkedIn, follow our page on LinkedIn, connect with us on all the other social media stuff. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.